and welcome to another episode of today's GK. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help you crack prelims. So let's begin with the practice question of last segment. Education for all is an initiative of which of the following institute? UNICEF, UNESCO, Save the Children, World Vision, International. The correct answer to this question is option B, that is UNESCO. Education for all is a global movement led by UNESCO aiming to meet the learning needs of children, youth and adults by the year 2015 and EFA was adopted by the DACA framework in April 2000 at the World Education Forum in Senegal, Africa. Its goal is that all children would receive primary education by the year 2015 and the EFA goal contributes to the global pursuit of eight Millennium Development Goals, especially MDG2, on universal primary education and MDG3 on gender equality in education. Moving on to the next question, consider the following statement about RCEP, Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. It came into force in November 2019 with a major role of India and its major objective is to lower tariffs, open up trade and services and promote investment to help emerging economies catch up with the rest of the world. So, we have to select the statement which is or are correct. It actually came into force in November 2020 and not 2019 without India. So, the first statement is incorrect. But the second statement which is saying that its major objective is to lower tariffs, open up trade and services and promote investment to help emerging economies catch up with the rest of the world is correct. The correct answer would be option B. The Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership came into force in November 2020 without India and the signatories of the agreement include 10 ASEAN countries and 5 key partners namely China, Japan, South Korea, Australia and New Zealand and if we talk about its aims and objective we have already discussed it. It also touches on intellectual property but will not cover environmental protection and labour rights. Keep this in mind. Moving on. Which of the following pairs are correctly matched? Becca helps India get real-time access to American geospatial intelligence. Comcasa allows the US to provide India with its encrypted communications equipment and system. And Lemo allows the militaries of the US and India to replenish from each other's bases and access supplies, spare parts and services. You have to select the correct answer. All these three are correctly matched. Correct answer to this question is option B. Moving on, Becca will help India get real-time access to American geospatial intelligence. This will enhance the accuracy of automated systems and weapons like missiles and armed drones. Comcasa will allow the US to provide India with its encrypted communications, equipment and systems so that India and the US military commanders and the aircrafts and ships of the two countries can communicate through secure networks during times of both peace and war. And Lemoa, it allows the militaries of the US and India to replenish from each other's bases and access supplies, spare parts and services from each other's land facilities, air bases and ports which can then be reimbursed. Moving on, consider the following statement about Manas app. It is endorsed as a national program by the Prime Minister's Science, Technology and Innovation Advisory Council. Manas is a comprehensive, scalable and national digital well-being platform and an app developed to augment the well-being, mental well-being of Indian citizens. We have to select the correct statement. Both of them being correct, the correct answer to this question is option E. Manasap is a well-being app that stands for Mental Health and Normalcy Augmentation System. It is endorsed as a national program by the Prime Minister Science, Technology and Innovation Advisory Council and it is a comprehensive, scalable and national digital well-being platform and an app developed to augment the mental well-being of Indian citizens. This app integrates the health and wellness efforts of various government ministries Scientifically validated indigenous tools with gamified interferences developed, researched by various national bodies and research institutions. Moving on, 
The state of world population report recently seen in the news is released by which of the following? United Nations Population Fund, World Economic Forum, United Nations Development Group or World Bank Group. The correct answer to this question is United Nations Population Fund. The UN PA flag trips. Fifth of the World Population Report 2021 with the theme My Bodies, My Own was recently launched. And this is the first time that a United Nations report has focused on bodily autonomy, defined as the power and agency to make choices about your body without the fear of violence or having someone else decide for you. Right? Moving on, which of the following journals is are published by Dr. B.R. Ambedkar? Muknayak, Bhishkrit Bharat, Samatha, Janta. All these were actually published by Baba Sahib. So, 1, 2, 3 and 4. All are correct. The correct answer to this question would be option B. Dr. Ambedkar was a social reformer, jurist, economist, author, polyglot, that means knowing or using several languages, orator, a scholar and a thinker of comparative religions. These are the journals. Mook Nayak in the year 1920, Bahishkrit Bharat in 1927, Samatha in 1929, Janta in 1930, Such as Annihilation of Caste, Buddha or Karl Marx, The Untouchables, who are they and why they have become untouchables, Buddha and his Dhamma, and The Rise and Fall of Hindu Women. The term narrow line, say first, one, recently seen in the news is related to New active galaxy, near Earth, asteroid, crater on Mars, planet in Kuiper Belt. So the correct answer to this question is new active galaxy. Recently, astronomers have discovered a new active galaxy called the narrow line, Seyfert 1, which has been identified as the farthest gamma ray emitting galaxy. Moving on to the next question, consider the following statements regarding the currency depreciation in India. Currency depreciation increases the country's export activity. Travel to India gets costly. And people receiving remittances from abroad are gainers. We have to select the correct answer. Yes, when a country depreciates, there will be an increase in the country's export activity. Because they will have to pay less. Travel to India will not get costly, but it will get cheaper. So the second statement is incorrect. And people who will receive remittances from abroad will be gainers because the real-time value of the currency has depreciated. So foreign remittance is actually on the gaining side. So only the first and the third being correct, the correct answer will be option C. Currency depreciation is a fall in the value of currency in a floating exchange. What is a floating exchange rate system? In a floating exchange rate system, market forces it determines the value of a currency. What is market force? It is a force that actually benchmarks the value of any commodity or currency based on demand and supply of a currency. Currency depreciation increases a country's export activity as its product and services become cheaper to buy and foreign tourists will be the gainers of currency depreciation as travel to India gets cheaper and impacts of depreciating to PR, people importing from outside are losers, people seeking foreign education, people traveling abroad, people investing abroad and people seeking medical treatment abroad. These are losers and gainers. People exporting from India, people receiving remittances from abroad or NRIs. These are gainers. With reference to bonded labor in India, consider the following statements. It is the payment of wages that are below the prevailing market wages and Legal minimum wages and the Constitution of India prohibits forced labor under Article 23. We have to select the correct statement, both of them being correct. The correct answer would be option C. The Supreme Court of India has interpreted bonded labor as the payment of wages that are below the prevailing market wages and legal minimum wages because now the person will be made to sell his or give his service at a cost which is much less. And the Constitution of India prohibits forced labor under Article 23. That's the fundamental right. So both of them are correct. Consider the following statement regarding National Green Tribunal. It is a constitutional body made under Article 48A. 
it is guided by the principles of natural justice and it disposes cases within one year of its filing we have to select the correct statement it is a constitutional body made under article 48a is incorrect because it actually came into force by the national green tribunal act of 2010 and it is not a constitution body it is a statutory body because it is deriving its power from a statute yes it is guided by the principles of natural justice and it disposes cases within 6 months of its filing so the first and the third statement being incorrect only the second statement will be correct moving on recently if we talk about the ngt has constituted an eight member national task force to combat air pollution and monitor remedial steps to improve air quality the tribunal was established in 2010 under the ngt act of 2010 it was established for effective and expeditious disposal of cases relating to environmental protection and conservation of forest and other natural resources and the tribunal is not bound by the procedure laid down under the code of civil procedure 1908 but is guided by the principles of natural justice it is mandated to make an endeavor for disposal of applications or final appeals appeals that are finally within six months of filing the same moving on consider the following statements regarding covid 19 vaccines global access covax it is an initiative of the world health organization Ghana was the first country to receive the vaccine under this initiative so we have to select the correct statement both of them are correct the correct answer to this question is option c covid 19 vaccines global access is a global initiative aimed at equitable access to covid 19 vaccines led by unicef gavi that is global alliance for vaccines and immunization coalition for epidemic preparedness innovation and world health organization and it seems to co in coordination of international resources to enable low to middle income countries equitable access to covid-19 test therapies and vaccines and by july 2020 165 countries that is representing 60% of the human population had joined covax in february 2021 ghana became the first country in the world to receive vaccines through covax when 6 lakh doses of the oxford astrazeneca vaccines were delivered moving on to the practice question which of the following water body shares a border with Ukraine, Black Sea, Mediterranean Sea, Caspian Sea or Lake Baikal? So I hope you'll be able to answer it correctly in the comment segment. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated, stay safe and thank you so much for watching.